Today I'll be installing my water temp sensor that I got, brand new from Nissan. Uh, it's not throwing a code for the water temp sensor, but I'm doing a lot of reading online and sometimes when you have an old one, it kind of throw off your idle and blah blah blah. So I'll be replacing that today. It ain't very hard, so we'll go ahead and get started. So if you can see right here, there's two connectors that one goes it's like a ground and the other one's actually to your water tip sensor or cooling tip sensor. The first one is this little black one right here that you just kind of pull off if it'll come off. Ugh, well, maybe one day, there we go. And I've already unplugged mine, but there it is. Uh, this one's got a metal clip in it also, so be careful when you're taking it out. I just kind of pull mine out. And it is a 19 millimeter uh, ratchet or wrench to take that off and uh, I would recommend that if you're doing this let the car cool down alright so here is the old water temp sensor and instead of using a wrench I use a deep well 19 millimeter socket and I was able to fit it over the connector onto the uh, onto this I guess I don't know bolt but just be gentle with it It'll come off easily. It's not on there too tight. Now I'm just gonna replace it, put the new one in, and I'll call this one a done day. All right, so everything's plugged up, and now the job is done. You can see a little bit, a little bit of coolant came out, but not very much at all. So that job is done for. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna be doing, but I'm not gonna make get any footage of it, is just put these two gaskets on um, from Vibrant Performance. Um, they go from the downpipe to the start of the exhaust system. Pretty simple and straightforward how to do that, so I'm not going to get any footage of that. So I'm going to get that knocked out, get the car jacked up, and get under there. Alright, so I just finished putting on the exhaust gasket. Um, the coolant temp sensor's in. I'm trying to start this thing up. Hopefully, the battery's got enough juice to start. Here, the fuel pump priming. That's good. Um, after I put that coolant temp sensor, I mean, it was only a hair of coolant, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have to re-bleed the system again. Hopefully no air got in, but we'll see. So, see what happens when we start this guy up. There we go. And my tachometer's working again, so that's cool. So, start it right up. The exhaust sounds a little quieter so that because there's no exhaust leak, but uh, that's all I got for you all today. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'll see y'all later.